Hey guys, my name is George and welcome to this new Ruby tutorial. Today we are going to learn what arrays are in Ruby. Now, basically what an array is, is like this special variable where you can store multiple sets uh, of data, you can store multiple values inside it, and I'm going to show you how to use arrays so you can uh, basically play with those a little bit. So what we're going to do first is that we're going to create a variable called students and basically in students I want to store a list of the names of some students for example I'm going to say that these students are equal to uh, the following first open square brackets so square brackets are used to uh, specify that this variable is basically an array and inside the square brackets we're going to type in the first name or of uh, our list so go ahead and type in double quote marks uh, whatever n name you want, for example, Mike, and then uh, to add a second value, you can use comma and type in a second name, for example, Andrew. Um, basically, uh, this is your first array, I think. Uh, this is a simple array with two values, two names, and we can print those those names by using puts students. So go ahead and save this script. Uh, now you might want to run it and you will see that the result will be Mike in one line and then in the second line Andrew and as you can see they are not in a single line because since this is an array uh, we're seeing uh, in different lines each of the values that are contained inside the students uh, list now however uh, what you can do with an array is that you can access uh, these values individually for example if you type in students.first you will access the first value inside your, your array and the first value, value is going to be Mike because it is obviously uh, first inside this array, it is in the first position so if you save the script and run it you will see that the array uh, will show only the first value which is Mike and you can also access the last value by using the last method of uh, the array object for example you put last over there, you run the code and you will see Andrew print out in a single line because we are accessing the last element of this array for example this name over here now you can also access uh, names uh, by using the something called index now the index uh, basically what it is is like um, is like the, the the position of the element inside uh, the array uh, for example if I create another name for example, Luis, uh, we can access Luis. Uh, we cannot access Luis uh, using the first or last methods because uh, Luis is in the middle. So you need to access with the exact position of the array. Now, uh, the first position always starts uh, with the zero index, so it's going to be something like zero, then one, then two. So Mike is going to be the zero position, then the one position is going to be Luis, and the last one is going to be number two, which stands for Andrew. Now, to access that uh, inside the array, you open square brackets and you specify the index that you want to access. For example, zero will be used to access the first name, which is Mike. Then you can also uh, try go ahead and put one over here which is the position number one, uh, well basically it's like the second one but that's Luis over here and you can also access uh, the last position using uh, the two index try the script and you will access Andrew. Now if you try to access a position that doesn't exist what you will get is uh, nothing because there is nothing inside that array. You will not get an error because you can use this to add more elements to the array. However, if you use it and you have nothing, well, you will see nothing. Uh, so let's try and use students position three equals to something else. And what you will see over here, um, well, basically what I will show you, I'm going to go ahead and type in George. And this is a simple way of adding a value to this array. So first uh, we had nothing in the first uh, declaration. Now with this we added some uh, value to the third position inside this array and we can print out uh, using this index. Uh, now there is another way to add um, data to an array. You can also use the push method uh, which is push then open parentheses and add 
uh, some other value, for example, this name. And if you run the script, you will get the same result. You can see it over there. So that's uh, something uh, for you to know. Uh, well, guys, I think uh, these are the basics of what arrays are. Uh, however, before we end the video, I wanted to show you something. And basically what that is, is that you can also store different kinds of data inside arrays. For example, in some uh, programming languages, uh, basically what you can do is that, that you can create an array, but the array must be uh, of the same type. So it can only have, uh, for example, strings. Now, in Ruby, you can uh, store uh, different kinds of data, for example, numbers, inside the, uh, this array. For example, I'm going to store a 34 over here. So if you run the code, you can get uh, to access this number, uh, which you can use uh, to make a numerical um, mathematical operations. Uh, however, um, well, this uh, is might be kind of an advantage because you can have an array with names, numbers, uh, well, any kind of data that you want to store over there. So I hope you guys uh, like this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to click on the like button below. Uh, you can also uh, leave some comments and you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. So I would really appreciate that. So I guess that's all, guys. Uh, see you later in the next video. Bye bye.